Okay, I'm Geodav, and I'd like to show you one of the little programs that I use on an odd occasion when working on my mo models to get them into 3DS. Well, get them for once I've finished with them in 3DS Max, I want to get them into Unreal Tournament 3. Now, as you can see here, I've got the website opened of the the program. It's called Blacksmith 3D, www.blacksmith3d.com. Now, you might say, well, why am I not going on about this? Well, one of the good things is, yes, it does cost money. Now, if you've got money, go and paint it and buy it. You can do lots of things about with it. But the main thing I... I'll just click on the downloads here, obviously, do all that and ask answer all the questions you want now the thing that I like about this product is you get a I think it's a a 30 day trial period which is nice which is all, always nice to uh, to try things out before you buy them but the best thing I like about it is that it's got a free 3D paint program with it. Now let me just close. Well, I'll show you the 3D. This is what you get when you first open it. Let's just get rid of that. Save a bit of memory. Uh, you, you are, once you've installed it, you can you can see here Blacksmith 3 3D Paint Freeware. Now, obviously. You can't do everything with this because it's free. You are limited to a map size, which is uh, 124, well, 1024 by 1024. But it's it's a nice little program and it does what I need it to do. So what we're going to do first, uh, import. Now, as you can see here, I've got my OBJ files, which I've exported from my other programs. Well, from obviously from 3, 3DS Max, but obviously Land Tank, Land Buggy, Hovercraft, Fly. We'll get on to them later. I'm just going to do my. Uh, uh, yeah, because I, I need to do this one. Okay, it's just my head. Yeah, discard the cut. Yeah, yeah, we don't need that. Uh, oh, what's that then? It's a ball. Okay, that's a head. Now. The program is a little bit funny on this. Now, if I can, yeah, materials. Here we go. Here we go. No, we haven't got anything made. Go into maps. Create a new map. Okay, I don't want a PNG. Uh, let's. Uh, yeah, go on then. Head. Dot. TGA. OK, make a TGA file out of that and go, yes, thank you. It's bright white. Uh, I don't want it bright white. I want a back, black background. OK, so invert colours. There we go, black. Into the manager, materials. Clicks on that. You know, still ain't got nothing there. But if we click on that, head TGA, fine. Now, obviously, this is the front bit. Now, all I'm going to do, now if I can find, as you can see, I use this program lots and lots and lots and lots. He says, right, uh, paint channels, as you can see, current color bump, yeah. Here we go, Th that's what I was wanting. Now I'm going to go bright yellow, well, not so bright. Flood fill, yep, that's fine. Now I'm going to go back in there, click on black, yeah, well, go on, click on black, not dead black, go up a bit like, yeah, yeah, cl it's ringing its bell, paintbrush, how big's my paintbrush, sizes, strength, hardness, spacing, uh, culling, back face, don't want it painting on the back at the moment, so we'll go uh, here we go, size up there, 
take the hardness up a little bit. Okay, and just go like that. Nice big eye. And another eye. Yeah, you guessed it. And a smiley. Okay. Orientation. Uh, we'll go to the back this time. Flood fill. Pick a colour. Green. That'll do. So we can actually see what the back of the head looks like here. Instead of just being a black blob. Okay. Pick on the paintbrush again. Uh, take the hardness down this time. And just go... Let's have a big M. There we go. Now if I... Uh, orientation. That's not going to go. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to spin this round. There's the front. There's the back. There's the front. There's the back. Select the map. As you can see, that's what it looks like. Uh, export. Head TGA. As you can see, I've already done ones here. There we go. Click on that. Go. Yep. Yeah. Fantastic. Now, let, that's how you use that. Okay, that's the way I, u I used it for my little head thing. You can u obviously use it on a bigger one. I might show you that later. Okay, we'll just leave things at that for the moment. Just to, I'll show you in another video how to do the uh, damage masks. But it's just a little head up, heads up.